Iman Obeidi's harrowing tale of rape and abuse at the hands of Gaddafi's militias shocked the journalists present, but the reaction of Libyan government, security and hotel staff added another layer of distress. One waitress pulled a table knife on her and called her a traitor. As officials tried to silence Iman Obeidi, then led her away, she called out, they say they're taking me to hospital, but they're really taking me to jail. Then the government's spin began. Spokesman Musa Ibrahim saying she was drunk, mentally ill, that she was not a lawyer, as she'd said, but a prostitute. And the final misrepresentation, that she was home safe with her family. In fact, she was in the custody of Colonel Gaddafi's forces once again. But by now, her family were fighting for her. In an interview with Al Jazeera Arabic, her parents showed a picture of their daughter graduating with her law degree. And her mother spoke out against the pressure the family were now under for Iman to retract her story. At three in the morning, they called from Gaddafi's compound and asked me to convince my daughter Iman to change what she said. They said they'd set her free immediately and I could take anything I or my children wanted, money, a new home. They told me, just ask your daughter to change what she has said. I told my daughter, keep silent, keep silent. She said, I'm not changing what I said already, mother. Iman is rapidly becoming a cause celebre in Libya, highly unusual in a culture which traditionally secludes its women and exercises a code of honor. We will never leave you alone, Iman. We will sacrifice our lives just for you, and we're all old and young supporting you. An interview with her cousin revealed Iman was arrested after taking part in an anti-government protest. Other women taken with her have not been released. There are fears for their safety. What security people? Impossible. Forget it. Gaddafi has to know he's finished. His end will be like that of a dog. Iman exposed them and showed their true colors. The family's defiance would have been unheard of two months ago, but the cracks are starting to show in Libya's formerly cowed population. She is telling the truth. I don't feel ashamed of her. I'm holding my head high for her, simply because she broke the barrier no other man could break before. My daughter is held captive by the unjust criminal traitors, Muammar Gaddafi and his followers. Where are you, the youth of Tripoli? For Iman and her family, the personal is now very much the political. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.